What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, what makes you so clingy? This video I'm going to describe what's the difference. The one thing that makes the difference between a clingy person and a non-clingy person. So before we even get into it, if you can, for the love of the Lord, for the Lord, can you uh, subscribe, click the red button below. Also, if you want my free 254, someone said it was 253, so we'll go with that. 253 page ebook that talks about all the things we talk about in my videos. That's absolutely free below, along with a coaching or email session with yours truly. So, earlier today, I had a, uh, a client on the phone, and I was talking to her. And we were talking about neediness or clinginess. She has, uh, you know, that was one of her red flags. Maybe it wasn't her red flag, but it's kind of aura that came off because of her situation. And I want to tell you what I told her. That the difference between a needy person, well, actually, no, back up, right? Boom, back up. Uh, I wanted to say that I, I actually told her that women should do a little more of the pursuing later on, right? A guy should, now guys are pansies now nowadays, but a guy should have, you know, the cojones. I hope that's balls in uh, Spanish. If it's not, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, lo siento, lo siento, si. Uh, lo siento, uh, but I, to I told women that guys, uh, you know, should have the balls to go up to a woman and talk to her and tell her how he feels, you know, hit on her, make her feel good, brighten her day up. But guys don't do that anymore, right? Obviously. It's not you, it's us, believe me. You know, but after that, a woman should do a little more of the pursuing because, again, you know, it makes the guy feel like the provider and satisfier and, and it completes that cycle. That, that could be a whole nother video. Okay, and women might think, well, if I do that, I'm going to come off needy and clingy. You know, don't I? You know, that's what you always talk about in your videos. You, you always talk about the neediness and clinginess. And what makes the difference between it is what I call the reaction, like the reaction after something. So let me give you a great example. If you text me and then I text you, no, sorry, let's say I text you and then you text me and I don't text you back, the clingy woman would send the question mark, the long text, the uh, keep on texting, the where are you, the smiley face, all these kind of things, right? She will send all these things after to get a reply uh, from me. And that's a subliminal form of seeking validation and approval. The non-clingy woman will reach out and then not react. She'll reach out and if I don't respond, she'll be like, okay, whatever, whatever, I reached out. That's how she thinks. Or if I, or if a woman tells me she likes me and I don't tell her anything back, she will again start trying to seek validation and approval by reaching out, asking me questions. So what are we, what are we doing, what's going on? Or after we will say we just got done hooking up, okay, we hooked up, so what are we now? Or where do we go from here? You're you're reacting to the situation. You're reacting to how I uh, how I'm coming off. Okay, not good. The woman who doesn't uh, who doesn't show the clinginess or the neediness doesn't react. She's in the moment. She's she's all about hanging out, having fun. Okay, so if we do get done hanging or hooking up, she's chill about it. She's cool. She's having fun. She's in the moment. She's 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 still trying. The attraction's not. It never ends. Okay, so after we hook up. You got to keep building it. Both stages, do, or both people do, okay? Both energies. You have to keep building it. But it's not like, okay, you hook up, okay, we got our end goal, so now I got, we got to find, you know, we got to negotiate where we are. That's not attraction. That's not how it works. What you should be doing is after that, keep on trying to build the attraction. Don't try to win him over there. Don't try to say, hey, where are we going? What's this going on? I'm not doing this again unless we're boyfriend, girlfriend. Listen, unless that's your, you know, your personal moral belief or value, that, which is fine. But, uh, you know, if you uh, actually, if you already hooked up with the guy and you're going to say, oh, I'm not doing this again, unless, don't, just don't say it, okay? But, you know, do you get what I'm saying, though? A lot of the times, a woman will uh, try to seek a validation after a certain event. When the woman who is not clingy, 
the, the woman who has the value and a lot of the confidence in her head at least, she'll she'll keep on working on building the value, that uh, escalating the attraction and not worry about negotiating on where you're at. Because negotiation is not attraction. It is not a natural thing. It is not a natural feeling. It is not how things work. It, it just unfolds naturally until the point where you're actually in it. So your reaction to an event is how you come off clingy. Again, there's nothing wrong with a woman reaching out to a guy, but when she keeps on doing it and she's seeking his approval or his validation after, that becomes a problem, okay? There's nothing wrong with a woman telling a, girl, a guy how he or how she feels, but when she when she wants a certain answer from him and she's not getting that answer and she's trying to seek his approval or get him to say that answer by doing whatever tactic, that's a problem. But if she were to just sit back and keep it going, it doesn't matter to a guy. With that being said, I love you ladies. Take care. Peace.